Welcome back everyone. This video we're going to be looking at ordinal numbers and fractions. So we have two kinds of numbers, cardinal and ordinal. Now if you've watched the other videos in this series, we've been working on cardinal numbers. There are three oranges. Malika is 12 years old. She has four friends. So cardinal numbers are the one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Now ordinal numbers are as follows. Daniel is first. Mohammed is second. James is third. So instead of saying they are one, two, three, in ordinal numbers, we say first, second, third. All right, so first I want you to listen to the ordinal numbers from one to 20. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, Thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, twentieth. And one thing you can notice about ordinal numbers, that it's only the numbers that end in one, two, or three that have something other than the th ending. Everything else has the th ending. But if, it, if the number ends in one, two, or three, then we would say, you know, first, 31st, 22nd, um, 43rd, uh, something like that. All right, so we're going to listen again and you can read along. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, Sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth. Fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, twentieth. All right, so again, we're going to look at um, some of the rules for ordinal numbers. So if a number ends in a one, we add the ST. So Daniel is one, Daniel is first. Uh, the number ends in a two, then we use the ND ending, Muhammad is two, or Muhammad is second. If the number ends in a three, we add the RD ending. 
So James is number three, and or James is third. And then if the number ends in four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine, we add the th. Diane is number four, uh, so she is fourth. Now a few exceptions um, to these rules are 11, 12, and 13. So these three um, end in one, so 11 ends in one, but we would still put the th ending on this 11th. Uh, same thing with 12 and 13, but these are the only exceptions, those in the teens or 11 through 13. Anything else that ends in a one, two, or three, we use the RD or the TH or the ND ending. All right, so you're going to listen and then fill in the blanks for each sentence. Melissa came fifth in the race. My birthday is on the 2nd of May. We celebrate Christmas on the 25th of December. Erasmus was born in the 15th century. We are living in the 21st century. Tomorrow is my grandmother's 60th birthday. This is an image of King Henry VIII of England. In this picture, Dossi is the fourth person from the left. All right, I'll play it again, and this time uh, I will fill in the answers. Melissa came fifth in the race. My birthday is on the 2nd of May. We celebrate Christmas on the 25th of December. Erasmus was born in the 15th century. We are living in the 21st century. Tomorrow is my grandmother's 60th birthday. This is an image of King Henry VIII of England. In this picture, Dossi is the fourth person from the left. All right, so now listen and say each cardinal number and each ordinal number. Five, fifth, eighteen, eighteenth, two, second, thirteen, thirteenth, three, third, twenty, twentieth, twelve, twelfth, ten, tenth, eight, eighth, four, fourth, Right. I'll read these numbers and words again. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th. Now we're going to look at parts, uh, we're going to look at fractions. Um, so first we'll look at parts of the fraction. The top number in a fraction is called the numerator. 
And the bottom number is called the denominator. So this is the fraction 1 eighth. So here's some common fractions. This one is just 1 because we have one circle. The entire circle is colored light blue. Here we have the same circle, but this time it's divided into two parts. So the 2 would be the denominator, the number on the bottom. So the denominator represents the total number of parts. And then the numerator represents the number that we are talking about. So here we have one section, um, dark blue. So that's the 1 on the top. And then we have a total of two sections. So that's the denominator on the bottom. So this would be 1 half. Here we have the same circle. This time it's divided into 1, 2, 3 parts. So for this fraction, the denominator is 3. Again, we only have um, one part shaded in. So we have, again, another 1 on the top. So 1 third. Here, the same circle is divided into four parts. So we have the four as the denominator. And again, one section is covered, colored dark blue. So it's one over four or one fourth. It can also be known as one quarter. And here we have the same circle divided into five parts. So the five becomes the denominator on the bottom. And the dark blue section, there's only one dark blue section, so that's the 1. So this is the fraction 1 fifth. All right, so first we say the numerator, 1. And then we say the denominator, which we, we use an ordinal number to say the denominator. So it would be 1 eighth. So if the denominator is a 2, you would say half or halves. So one half or three halves. If the denominator is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or so on, we use the ordinal number. So one seventh or one fifth. And if the numerator is not one, then you add an S to the denominator. So six sevenths two-thirds. All right, um, so first we're going to read the fractions and I'll have you repeat after me. Three-fourths, one-fourth, five-fourths, one-third, two-eighths, three-eighths, five-eighths, seven-eighths, one-third, two-thirds, two-ninths, three-fourths, one-tenth, two-tenths, three-tenths, four-tenths, two-halves, one-third, four-fifths, seven-eighths. Here we have what we call a mixed number. We have a whole number with a fraction. So we see the whole number first as a cardinal number. So this would be one and one-fourth, two and one-third, three and three-fourths, two and two-fifths, three and one-half, two and two-thirds, four and one-sixth, three and one-eighth, three-fifths, two-thirds, four-sevenths, five-ninths, one-third, two-thirds, three-thirds, four-thirds. Now I'm going to have you listen and you'll we'll circle or write down the fraction that you hear. Three quarters. 
five eighths, two thirds, one tenth, two halves, one and a quarter, three and a half, four sevenths, two thirds. All right, I'll play it again, and this time I will underline the answers so that you can check your answers. Three quarters, five eighths, two thirds, one tenth, two halves, one and a quarter, three and a half. Four sevenths, two thirds. All right, now we're going to talk about decimals and how we say a decimal number. So anything to the left of the decimal point is just um, pronounced as a regular cardinal number. So 351. And then we say point 306. So 351.306. Here we would have 95.05672. All right, so now practice. We'll practice saying these numbers. You can practice on your own, pause the video, and then restart when you're ready for me to give the answers. All right, this would be 31.6, 75 3.14, 0.69, 14.765, 100.43, 0.45, 15.6099, 15 15.8, 301.019, 413.444. All right, so now go ahead and say these numbers on your own and then um, restart the video when you're ready to hear the answers. 6.3 0 0.75 0 0.625 3.67 one. 1 1.83, 12.065, 0.05, 10.01, 7.45, 1.875, 1.8, 5.302. All right, so now we're going to read the number so you can repeat after me, and then we'll listen to see which order we hear these numbers in. One half, 76, five sevenths, 0 0.77, 44.09, 19th, 2 sevenths, 71st, 0 0.38, 106th, 30, 31.307, and 23rd. Now you can listen and you will mark them in the order that you hear the numbers. 76th, 
0.38 5 sevenths 31.307 0 0.77 1 half 2 sevenths 23rd 106th 19th 71st 44.09 All right, I'll play it again and we'll mark the answers. 76th 0 0.38 5 sevenths 31.307 0 0.77 one half, two sevenths, twenty third, one hundred and sixth, nineteenth, seventy first, forty four point zero nine. All right. That brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you learned something about fractions and decimals and ordinal numbers. And I hope you continue to join us for the other videos in this series. Thanks for watching. Bye.